Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Harrison Central. Today is May, Friday, May 19th. I am Cheyenne here with your news. There are no announcements today, so we're going straight into the lunch menu. Today, the cafeteria is serving chicken patties, assorted vegetables, and diced peaches. Now, let's send it to Drake with the weather. Before we go to the weather today, Mr. Valesco and I would like to make a special announcement about our esteemed weatherman, Drake Watson. In case you are unaware, Drake will be graduating this year. So today is his very last weather forecast at Harrison Central High School. Mr. Valesco couldn't be with me right now because he is watching his daughter's choir recital in the auditorium, but he wanted me to let you all know how much he appreciates the work that Drake has put in for him and all the time that he's given us for editing for this production. And I certainly also appreciate Drake and I appreciate the enthusiasm he has for delivering Harrison Central's weather forecast every day. <clears throat> so we'd like to wish congratulations to Drake Watson and all the seniors who are graduating this year. Now let's send it to Drake Watson's final weather forecast at Harrison Central High School. Thank you, Mrs. Brooks. Let's take a look at today's weather forecast. We'll see uh, a pretty warm day, high temperature of 73, a low of 54. That's not a very low low. It was not that cold when you woke up this morning. It won't be too cold when you go to bed this evening, if you do. We'll see uh, rain, though, here in the early morning. That was kind of unprecedented. It kind of came in uh, last minute. Um, it was not expected when it arrived, but it's here, and it's here to stay for at least the next hour or two. Other than that, we'll see cloudy skies throughout most of the day. Not a lot of sunshine, but hey. That's not going to stop a certain group of 100 and plus students from riding off into the sunset this evening as this uh, closes a chapter on a lot of people's lives and this is the end of an era. This is the last day of high school for the seniors for the class of 2023 and we hope it was very memorable for them. A lot of up and ups and downs throughout their high school time. Uh, a lot of memories made, a lot of things that a lot of folks have had to go through um, and this is certainly a special group of people. We wish them the best of luck throughout the rest of their lives, and we certainly hope it was a blast for you as well. This has been my final weather forecast, and for the final time, we'll say that is it for the weather forecast. Now, let's head over to some more senior interviews. I'm Gracie, and I'm here with Gabby for this senior interview. What do you plan to do after high school? Well, I'm going to take a year off because it just gives me more time to be able to think about where I'm going and what I want to do. I want to be a cosmetologist, but I need to figure out, like, apply for scholarships and colleges and stuff like that. Okay. What was your most memorable moment in high school? Honestly, I think it's COVID just because we lost so much time um, that whole year that we lost because of it. Um, we need more time to, like, figure out what we want to do and who we want to be and all that stuff. We just lost a lot of memories. And do you have any advice for the younger classmen? Um, don't worry about like the little high school drama and stuff like that because it's you need to focus more on yourself than others so that way you know who you want to be and what you want to do when you leave. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Mariah for her senior interview. What are your future plans after high school? My plan is to take a gap year and figure everything out. What is your most memorable moment from high school? My most memorable moment would be um, COVID-19 when we had to do Zoom classes. All right. And do you have any advice for underclassmen? My advice would be not to worry too much about what others think of you and to be yourself. All right. Thank you. I'm here. I'm Isabel here with Drake to interview him about his high school experience. Drake, what are your plans after high school? Uh, I plan to study communications at Ohio University Eastern. What is your most memorable thing about high school? Uh, I would have to say towards the top of the list is uh, beating St. Clairsville in football 2019. That was my freshman year, winning the coal bucket and just the kind of spirit that brought to the school, especially that was the first year for this building. So uh, we, we knew we had a bright future ahead of us. I also uh, mentioned the building. I think the building is uh, incredible. I 
got fortunate enough to start my high school uh, time here in this building. Obviously spent two years at the old school in seventh and eighth grade, but uh, this place is incredible and I'm glad to see that the students, uh, both older than me and younger than me, have taken w uh, good care of it. And uh, yeah, this building and, and that coal bucket was really special. What is your advice to younger students? Uh, I would say, and I wrote this in a paper recently for class, um, do what you need to do, take care of what you need to take care of, do the things that you're supposed to do uh, as a student here at Harrison Central. Of course, we talk about the Huskies way all the time. Uh, so do the right thing, but also have fun while you're here. You know, these are four years of your life that you're never going to get back. Uh, these are also four years where you're going to learn a lot, maybe the most in, in your life, at least at this time, up until this point. So take care of what you need to take care of, but um, I, I don't want to say don't take it too seriously, because obviously you need to take it serious enough, but uh, definitely enjoy the time that you have here. All right, thank you, Drake. Now let's send it back to the I studio. Have a, can I ask a question for you. Oh, yeah. What is your advice? To, I've, uh, sorry, how do, I've never done an interview before. What is your advice to underclassmen? I don't know. Enjoy your time here while you can. And all right, <laughs> I don't know. that does it for us. For the seniors' last day, some of the girls decided to paint their jeans uh, to show the senior jeans. So everyone, take a look at Lauren's jeans. Lauren, what'd you do for your jeans? I just freehanded it. <laughs> and then painted it. And then for my jeans, I tried to outline it with a pen and it went really dark through, but you can't see it from here. Ken's, what'd you do for your jeans? Um, I traced it in pencil and then painted it and put some glitter on it. Alrighty, Emma, what'd you do for your jeans? I used a stencil and then painted. And KK, what'd you do for your jeans? I just freehanded them and painted them. Alrighty, everyone have a great day from the seniors from Harrison Central and goodbye. <laughs> This is it. This is it. Thank you all for watching the news. It's been fun. Peace.